to, um, to grow in God's Word, to know Him even better. So, and I'm glad that your parents are, are helping y'all out too, so y'all can see this video. Uh, gracias papás, gracias mamás por ayudar a los niños a crecer más en la Palabra de Dios. Se los agradezco mucho y que sea esto de gran bendición. Um, guys, so we are in lesson seven. And our title today is God is One God. And our um, verse that we're going to be based on will be on Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 through 7. So let me read that, okay, before we start praying. So hear carefully. It's right here, okay, guys? Don't forget to, to take notes. Y'all don't have to write that long verse, okay? I'm just, I'm just going to read it for you, okay? So y'all follow along. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 through 7 says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I commend you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. So that's what we are going to learn, how God is one, one God, okay? So let us pray before we get started. Lord, thank you, Lord, for this good day that you have given us, Lord, that um, we are able to enjoy your word, Lord, and help me, Lord, teach the guys, the kids that are going to listen, and I'm glad, that God, that um, they are using their time wisely right now um, to spend time in your word, to grow in you, Lord, and to praise you for who you are, uh, for the Lord, for for the, for the God that hears us, even though we cannot see you, Lord. Um, Lord, in this message, in this lesson, that we can um, we can get to know you even better, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, guys. So, lesson seven, God is one God. So, listen carefully, okay? Remember, listen carefully because we have questions at the end. Our lesson says, did you ever wish you had wings like a bird so that you could fly very high? If you had wings, would you fly up, 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 and up, high into the sky to see all the stars? I think I would. That would be cool. If you went on and on and on for days and days, you still would not see all the stars. There are so many. Millions and millions of them. God made all those stars. He made every one of them. And the Bible said he even knows them by name. And he made everything else that you see. Many years ago, the Israelites were God's people. There were many people on earth. But God chose the Israelites to be his very special people. He talked to them through Moses. He gave them a beautiful country to live in. He told them that God is good, that God is God alone. There are no other gods, and so they must worship only Him. So who, the, who should they worship? Only who? Only God, only Him. He's the only true God. So people who lived around the land of Israel thought there were many gods. One who made the stars. One God who made the moon. One who lived in the ocean. They also made idol gods of wood and stone. Sometimes even God's own people who knew how wonderful and good God is forgot about him. They made idols and prayed to them. One day God sent them a prophet named Isaiah. What was the prophet's name? Good job, it was Isaiah, to tell them how foolish they were. Isaiah said, listen, I will tell you how foolish you are. A man goes to the woods 
with his axe. He finds a good tree and cuts it down. He chops it to pieces. He uses some of the wood to make a fire. When he has a fire burning, he says, Ah, this is a nice warm fire. Then he takes a piece of the same tree home. He cuts and carves it and makes it look like a man with ears and eyes and nose and a mouth. He puts shining gold over it and he says, there, I have made me a god. He kneels down to that piece of wood, to that piece of tree, right? It was a tree at first. What a foolish man he is. That piece of wood cannot hear. It cannot see. It cannot even move. It is an idol. It did not make the earth and the sky. It did not make these stars. It cannot send rain. I say and tell the people that there is only one true God. He made all things. He alone is Lord over all things. Everything belongs to him. He takes care of everything. We cannot see him but he, because he is spirit, but he is the God who hears us when we pray. He is very great. So that was an interesting story, right? So we are going to go to our questions. Question number one. Why is it foolish to make idol gods? We are going to get our answer based on Psalm 115, verse 5. And that song is talking about, an, um, that verse is talking about an idol. It says, they have mouth, mouth, but they do not speak. Eyes they have but they do not see. Hmm. So what is the answer? Why is it foolish to make idol gods? Because they are not real. Yes, they can't do even nothing. So that's, that's an answer. Write your answer down, guys. Don't forget to put pause to the video if I'm going too fast, right? So question number two. To whom do, does the earth and sky belong? And the next question is, why do all things belong to him? We're going to get our answer based on John chapter 1, verse 3. So if you have your Bible, guys, use your Bible so you can follow along with me and read that if if you can. That's John chapter 1 verse 3. And it says, All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. So that's the answer based on that. Okay guys? I can write it even shorter. So to whom do, does the earth and sky belong? And why do all things belong to him? Because he he created everything. That's right. He created all things. Question number three. Why do we belong to him? Hmm. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. So why do we belong to him? Correct. Y'all got that right. Good job, guys. So lastly, we will draw. So guys, y'all draw your drawing. And in my drawing, I drew... I will put it up. This is Miss Raina, 
That right there is chocolate and cheetah. And we are in our morning walk. And in my drawing, I put that I'm speaking to God. And I'm saying, God, thank you for this morning. And blah, 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 blah. And me talking to God. Even though I cannot see God or cannot hear Him, I know He is real. And I know He hears me. And I wrote right there a verse. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So we can come to God boldly. If you are a son and or a child of God, if you belong to Jesus, you can come to him boldly. So that is what y'all will do last. Y'all will draw. Y'all will draw what y'all learned from our lesson. And I wanted to remind you before I finish, um, this video, I wanted to remind y'all that don't forget to memorize your verse, okay? Keep practicing your verse that we have. You, you have questions or um, anything about the video, anything about the lesson, just wanna talk to me, uh, you can ask mom and dad, mom, can I talk to Miss Raina? Y'all can talk to me, okay guys? So um, we're finished guys, and I hope you enjoy this. And um, I hope you, you learn more about God and what God wants in our life and what he wants us to learn. So, gracias mamá y gracias papá por uh, permitir que los niños vean este video. Espero que sea de gran bendición. Nos vemos.